Hi Sagittarius, so welcome to my channel, we're doing a reading. How are you? We're doing Tarot and an Oracle card that is not available. Okay, so that's why this is the only thing available. But we do have a lot at eatreadlove.me, so do check it out. Watch the first uh, four minutes of the Scorpio and the six minute though. Because I talk about Jupiter in Scorpio, okay? Not Jupiter in Scorpio, but about your Ascendant Lord, which is about luck and how to manifest it. Okay, but it's it's for everyone. Okay, so just I don't have to repeat it. Okay, so do check it out. But I will do it next time for each because I've been doing the coaching stuff. Yes, but I was talking there. Okay, and I know you guys like the coaching, but then I'm going to be repetitive. So just go there. It's for you anyway also. Okay, and that's not cross-watching. I was really just talking about manifestation of coins and abundance. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let me see for the sages. Did you watch your Tarot After Dark? Mm-hmm. Did you see that one? Well, how you didn't see that coming? There you go. Watch it. Let's see. Okay. Walking away. Well, it feels like you are really walking away from the person. Okay. I feel like you're going to tell this person that's like, this is it. I'm done. I'm over. I need myself for myself and to... I'm... I'm... I feel like... You're just trying to improve your life, Sag. And this person cannot stand that you can do this on your own. Ah, I see. I see. I see. I see what this person is about. Because um, you have resonant rejuvenation and there's the envy. Um, this person is wondering how can you just shut down? How can you just say, okay, I am over. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. I see. Man holding a heart, the world, community, and okay. So this is when a Sag is done, when they start to realize that I can have someone better. <laughs> exactly. So you feel like right now, it's just like, yeah, you were probably a flavor of the month, a flavor of the year, flavor of the decade. I don't know how, you were, how long you were stuck with this person. But now you're saying that, you know what? There's a billion people. And chances of me going out there, meeting someone way much better is going to be um highly 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 generous chances okay because you have the door to spirit here you feel like you know what a person who means well for me will not do these things which what they have done to you i feel like this person um has a tendency to bring you i have to say it bad luck Ooh, that's not good okay <laughs> oh trust me i don't care who you are but if your chart brings bad luck i ain't no judgment here Hi, hello, goodbye. Okay. <laughs> I ain't that lifestyle. Okay. I am about, okay. I want to I want to help people. I want to do good things, you know. But just saying, there are people who brings bad luck. And you know, you will know. You will know. Trust me on that. Things becomes dark. Things becomes, you know, um heavy. You know, those are the people that you need to avoid. I'm not saying that they're bad people. It's just like if you can avoid until they have changed your life, you know, then that's the time you can um, be back with them or, you know, be in their circle. It can come in marriage. It can come in family, relationship, friends, all this business partner. But I, re I really see here now you have the door to spirit, which means like you got to get out fast with this person. It's not for your uh, highest good. Okay. Let's see now what Zotero is uh, going to tell us. Okay, let's see here. What is the tarot? Okay. Because you can, you can change the way your life is by really saying, you know what? No this time. No. You'll thank me later, Sag. There's a lot of people who will support you in your new journey. You might even relocate and move. Okay? Here we go. First card, the tower. Boom, boom, boom. I like a Sam Nanan. Okay. I think that's, oh no, that's the Benga Bus. Eh? That's a new song. The Benga Bus is coming. <laughs> the tower is here. So change is coming. A breakthrough, a breaking of cycle. We always need a tower moment in our life to align ourselves to something that can help us. This is the universe telling you, it's just like, yeah, you've been, you know, you've been messing around with the wrong folk over here, barking at the wrong tree. Um, with the tower, it feels like a breakup is what is happening. It is imminent. Okay, to break a cycle is to break karma. And to finish it is the world. And you already have the world card. Until you've learned a lesson, you know, that's why you guys keep coming back. I feel like you're breaking a karmic cycle. 
Okay, same action, same result. Now it's looking like, no, Sal, heard you loud and clear. I'm gonna cut it off. The end is, oh, oh judgment, which is good. Having the judgment card, Sag, this is all about, okay, finally listening to your guides, which normally we do ignore. You've seen the red flags, more than the six flags, yes? Okay, because the judgment is your intuition also, you know, your guides, how, how you know, like your angels, however, you know, wh wherever what form it is. Sometimes this is your mom also telling you, okay? It's like, I told you, I don't trust that. Mm -hmm. See, with the judgment, yeah. There's one thing about um, the women's intuition, but there is another level when it's your mom, okay? <laughs> I swear, okay? They ain't psychic, but they might as well be because they know when they're good for you and they're bad for you. It's a mom thing. They know. They just know. Okay, so listen to your guides. Okay, here we go. With the five of swords, it feels like you're coming out of an, uh, I feel like heavy, heavy energy because there's a lot of fights with the five of swords. There's a lot of accusation is the five of swords. A lot of he said, she said, he, he, she, she you know, whatever genitalia, but there's a lot of blame game. You did this to me, I, you know, all those theatrics. But now you're saying, we don't need to do this anymore. Ace of Swords, I'm cutting you off, okay? Because you know now the truth. Now with the Five of Swords, this is a very triggering person. With the Seven of Cups, you see now all the illusions. The Seven of Cups is a card of um, dreams, you know? So you see that everything was just a promise. Everything was just given to you. It was just like there was nothing concrete, you know, seven of cups. So now with the hangman, um, you're trying to remove yourself from being stuck and stagnant. Did you know that if the energy is stagnant, let's just say in relationship, isn't it you feel ill? You know, you're not going with the flow of the universe and you feel like, man, life is just, yeah, because it's real. you're dragging yourself, okay? With the hangman over here, you're releasing yourself from that. You're enlightened. Ace of Swords is the only sword that can cut the, you know, the feeling of being stuck. Only the Truth Sword can remove that. Death card, which is good. Now, Death card with the Tower, Sag, you're putting a period to this. Okay, a big exclamation point and a period. The, because when I see the two cards, this is permanent. Okay, no coming back. Excuse me. And with the Ace of Wands, a new beginning, a passionate new beginning. So what is a new passionate new beginning? Remember that feeling when you wake up and there's a new car in your driveway? That's a passionate new beginning, <laughs> okay? Because you'll be like, ah, oh, what a life. You know, that whole sense of like, what a life. It's not about material things. I'm trying to connect with that, with that sense of um, drive and motion. That's the Ace of Wands. So you will feel that you'll wake up from this. With the Four of Swords here, you're gonna need some time. Um, to recuperate from the arguments, the fight, the bickering, all these things, you're gonna need your quality time. So a timeout, okay? Now, with the nine of wands here, don't ever give up on yourself, all right? Because it might be, um, you might have a moment where it really takes time for you to, to heal from this. Don't pressure yourself on that. And don't pressure yourself on meeting someone new because the two of cups is here. Um, don't pressure yourself, but we were soulmates, so why should I give up? Don't pressure yourself on that. It is what it is for now. Um, with the Ten of Cups here, and the Four of Swords, it feels like, just to be honest, I'm going to be honest with you right now, um, while you end this, you will have a desperate attempt or moment where you will ask yourself, maybe we can still work it. Okay, so you really just want to drag my energy back and forth like a ping pong or an Atari. Mm-hmm. Like a tennis here. So after you said they're over, now you're going to be, but we have family, you have kids, we love each other. Okay, I mean, okay. Okay, Sag. Okay. Because you feel like now, it's like, but I still love them. Mm. Okay. King of coins and the seven of swords. Do what is good for you, Sag. Because it feels like right now, um, if you're just in denial, you're going to come to me, yes, I'm done and over with them. But then you're going to come at me the next day or in your subconscious right now. Yeah, even though reader says like, you know, I should break up with them. I mean, in my soul, I really still love them and I don't want to live a lie. There you go. Don't live a lie. Okay? Because you have to live a life of love. Because it, says, it shows here that you're doing a self-sabotage. Meaning, you're saying, yes, it's done, but I want them. I love them. Okay, hi Sag. With the two of ones, Scorpio got this in the um, in another read. Like uh, I feel like two three days ago, so you might be a, you might be a Scorpio also. With the two of ones, 
everything is out in the open right now. You're not closing a door. You're not walking into the door. Also, the door is the spirit. But you're just standing at the door. You don't know. You know, is it over? Should I? Shouldn't I? Well, we'll see what the other, this other person is about then. Link down there in the description box below for the extended. And then follow me on Instagram at salbiadora. Download my app, Eat, Read, Love. And I think that's it. I'll see you guys again. Bye. Thank you.